Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 25th to the 31st of January 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have for Scorpio please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Scorpios please. For the week what is the overarching energy for the week for scorpio so scorpio we have the four of swords Okay, message for Scorpio, please. Angel spirits, guides for the week. Thank you. Oh, we have dive deep. I mean, the Four of Swords is a very deep energy as well, intuitively. So let's pull another card. Angels, what is the message for Scorpio, please, for the week? Thank you. Message for our lovely Scorpios for the week. Thank you. I have prioritized Archangel Metatron. Focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. Okay. So what do we have for our lovely Scorpios, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Scorpios for the week, please. I'm going to pull four I'm going to pull three cards this week Scorpio the first card is the issue or challenge that you face second card is advice from spirit third card is the outcome should you take the advice and then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you thank you so we have your challenge is the three of cups Five of Pentacles is advice from spirit and the Eight of Wands is your outcome. So let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Scorpio, please. Message for Scorpio, thank you. Twenty fifth to the thirty first of January, twenty twenty one. Please, what do we have for Scorpio? Thank you, angels, spirits, guides. Thank you, Nine of Cups. The Two of Swords clarifies the Five of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles is clarifying the eight of wands bottom of the deck we have the lovers which is the card of gemini scorpio so let's clarify this four of swords Let's clarify this Four of Swords, please. Okay. So I have the King of Cups, which is a card of Scorpio. There's definitely an energy of digging deep in this reading. Digging deep. I mean, you are a deep sign anyway, you know. Uh, there is definitely an energy of digging deep. 
to reconnect to who you are you know the the four of swords is a card of recovery it's a card of contemplation deep 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 thought um because you can see this person is lying there recovering and again we can see the ghost of this action energy this kind of like knight on a horse taking action so it can be a card of recovery you know uh regrouping taking a breather in order to get perspective on how you need to move forward um it can be a card of um deep contemplation you know deep giving deep thought deep contemplation to a situation and how you need to move forward but either way the king of cups is you as an energy so definitely an energy the king of cups is somebody who rises above the waves he rises above the ocean which is miles deep and the water in tarot represents our emotions our feelings he has mastered them he masters them he rises above you know that which will pull him under and allow him to sink miles and miles beneath the surface so there's definitely an energy of mastery over whatever you've been recovering from and rising above it and it's interesting the message is dig deep it feels like dig deep to who you are because you have an opportunity to recover from a situation there is definitely this energy of prioritize and it's a practical energy the prioritize energy so for some of you that's relevant it's a factual energy dealing with the facts of the situation it's interesting because the nine of cups and the three of cups is in your challenge position the the three of cups is a card of celebration joy again the nine of cups is getting your hopes dreams and wishes uh, hearts desire happiness joy contentedness wanting for nothing so there's definitely an energy of that doesn't seem to be available to you now you want to bring some kind of goal hope dream and wish to fruition here but it doesn't feel it's available to you and that is your challenge because there's definitely an energy of your feeling lack here with the five of pentacles and this can be a card of wanting to be happy again or wanting to achieve a specific goal that is going to make you happy it's your wish your hope your dream three of cups can be a card of friendship the bonds with people um, can be in love I mean you know it, it is a friendship card so for some of you it might well be for some of you there's friendship um, you're being shown love emotional support through friendships to heal to find happiness again to get you back on track it feels in this energy as well it feels for some of you you want that happiness In a challenge position, it can have a materialistic aspect as well, the Nine of Cups. Um, so it could be to do with money and career. I mean, I have the lovers here. And for some of you, it could be in terms of love, romance, relationship, or something that's affecting your love, romance, relationship. You know, it can be that kind of energy. And it feels, for some of you, you want the feeling of the winter to be over and to receive your harvest that is going to bring you joy but it doesn't feel it's happening right now and that is the challenge and that is it feels what you're recovering from now that could be challenges in a relationship it could be also challenges in terms of something that's affecting your relationship it could be money career finances because the five of pentacles on the one hand it can be about financial loss or changes uh, negative changes in your finances money career jobs sometimes it's a card of, of rejection feeling out in the cold as well that could be in any aspect it can be a card of lack of self-worth self-esteem as a result of somebody's actions maybe towards you you know it, it can be that energy of feeling the pinch feeling the lack in whatever context so can be in terms of money career can be in a relationship here but there's an energy that you're being watched over we have the stained glass window you're being watched over through your darkest times here and that that is the energy with the two of swords i don't see sometimes this can be about decisions choices 
and the inability to make one because you don't have full clarity. Yeah, and this is that energy. It, it feels in this situation that you don't have full clarity of a situation or how things are going to change. It, it can be a card of weighing things up. I don't have full clarity yet to make some kind of decision choice. So I'm feeling stuck. I'm feeling stuck in this energy. And this isn't available to me. My hope, dream and wish. Something to, you know, this celebratory energy. But it can also be about closure, needing closure in a situation. And it feels like the closure of wanting the harvest. To, it's definitely this energy of reaping the harvest. Beginning to reap the harvest after having waited for the harvest to be ready to be reaped. You know, it's that kind of energy. The Eight of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. I mean, the Six of Pentacles is a card of, in terms of money, career, business, it's a card of not having enough. Can sometimes, can sometimes be a card of charity. It's a card of giving and receiving as well. So it, it might well be for some of you, you might have been struggling financially. It can be a card of receiving charity. It might well be some friendship or some support family or friends have been supporting you again through this difficult time. And that can be this kind of energy as well. The Six of Pentacles also says it's your time to receive. Now, in terms of love, romance, relationships, there's a message of give and take can be about compromise, give and take to restore balance as well. So it's that kind of energy. If you felt the lack, maybe there is some give and take that's needed here, some conversation or exchange here that's needed because what it's bringing in is a shift, a positive change. Now, the Eight of Wands in terms of money and career, it can be to do with news a conversation leading to something solid, opportunity, connections. Yeah, shifts coming out of the blue. It is out of the blue energy. It's a swift energy. And each of those ones promises growth, potential, something exciting. So there's definitely an energy of change is available to you. And the change is available either in terms of money, career, and what that represents, or the change that's born out of you know, your relationship, some kind of exchange of information. Again, I did say recovery, seeing the way forward, how you rise above a situation here determines everything, Scorpio. And I'm definitely getting this energy of it's restoring the harmony in a relationship. So either there is some change in terms of your money, career, finances, some shift that's happening, some change, could be to do with opportunity or news coming to you. Can also be about some give and take in a relationship that's restoring harmony uh, in, your, in your life in terms of relationships. So definitely this kind of energy of there's such promise here. Change, there is some kind of shift coming your way. And it feels for some of you there is definitely an energy of digging deep finding solutions, getting clarity on how you need to move forward by digging deep because that allows you to rise high and master the situation. Um, very, very beautiful energy here. Yeah, and I've got the Page of Pentacles, bottom of this deck. Interesting because the Page of Pentacles can be career financial opportunities, the beginnings of something here. can also be about manifesting something new, something solid, stable, secure. So very good in terms of love, romance, relationships here too, Scorpio. Yeah, so it feels very beautiful. It feels like there is some change coming your way, some shift this week. Uh, and nevertheless, you know, there's definitely this energy of it's your time to receive from the universe. You're being watched over, it's your time to receive. But what you put your energy into with this is how you're going to be rewarded. It's very much linked to the law of attraction energy. What you put your energy into is how you're rewarded. And that brings about the shift. So it's a lovely, lovely energy, Scorpio. Take it as you will. These are general readings, but nevertheless full of promise. Yeah, full of promise. So I'm going to pull a final card, final message for Scorpio, please. 
final message for Scorpio. There's definitely an energy of rising. I mean, you are the Phoenix rising card. And like I said, the King of Cups, he rises above situations that will pull him under. And there's a feeling of sinking, you know, being pulled under with that five of pentacles, uh, feeling that lack energy, but by your own actions. And again, prioritization, what you focus on now, how you put your practical skills, knowledge, experience to, to use either in terms of restoring harmony in a relationship or restoring the balance in terms of money, career, finances. It feels that there is some positive change available to you. Sometimes to do with online as well, you know, that um, Eight of Wands. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, I mean, look at this, Scorpio. I've got honeybee, divine feminine. You are being called on to rise. <laughs> oh, you know, they do make me laugh. So there you go. That is your message. Deep, deep, rise high. Beautiful energy. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.